Hello there everyone and a warm welcome back to another Heartwood Online video. Today, I'm excited to dive into a topic that's pivotal for enhancing your character's prowess, the talent book. This feature allows you to allocate points you've earned through leveling up to bolster specific attributes of your character. If you're wondering how to access this, simply head to the top left corner and tap on the distinctive purple book icon. Once you're in, you'll be able to explore and utilize these valuable points to refine your character's abilities. Stay tuned as I delve deeper into the mechanics of the talent book and offer insights on how to better allocate your points for maximum impact. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. When you first click on the talent book, it might give the impression that choosing the right attributes is straightforward. However, due to the game being in early access, not all of these attributes actually provide tangible benefits, and this crucial information isn't readily communicated. So let's kick things off by discussing the health attribute. The health attribute proves to be particularly advantageous for melee classes. This is mainly due to the fact that ranged classes might struggle with kiting mobs effectively, often finding themselves in the receiving end of substantial damage. Furthermore, it's essential to consider that the gear design for melee classes often emphasizes health and defense, aligning well with the tanking playstyle. This makes pursuing a tank role a viable option, especially when playing in groups where you can efficiently gather and handle multiple mobs for productive grinding sessions. While both warriors and rogues can benefit from investing in the health attribute, it's worth noting that warriors tend to reap greater advantages due to their inherently sturdy nature. So if you're aiming for a robust tank build, allocating points to the health attribute is a wise choice, particularly if you're planning to venture forth with a band of friends. Moving on to the attack power attribute. This one holds a significant appeal for melee classes as well. However, it's important to exercise caution and avoid investing in this talent if you're playing as a major priest. The concept behind attack power is relatively straightforward. By increasing this attribute, you bolster your raw damage output. If you're venturing out on your own, tackling challenges solo, then investing in the aspect could certainly be beneficial. For those playing as melee classes, this attribute aligns well with your close combat style, amplifying the punch behind your attacks. On the flip side, mages and priests who rely more on magical abilities and support skills might not find as much utility in increasing attack power. Continuing on the talent book, let's delve into the critical chance and critical damage attributes. Generally, these might not be the go-to options for building your character. But if you're considering them, rogues are the class that could benefit the most. Critical chance reflects your likelihood of landing a critical hit, while critical damage adds an extra layer of damage to those critical hits. The concept is quite straightforward, but in practice, maximizing attack power tends to be more effective, especially if you want to enhance your overall damage output. For rogues who rely on precision strikes and critical hits for their gameplay style, these attributes can align well with their strengths. Now, let's turn our attention to the health regeneration armor attributes. Generally, these might not be your top choices unless you're specifically looking to create a warrior tank build. Even then, I would primarily recommend focusing on armor. Health regeneration is quite straightforward. It gradually restores your health over time. However, it's often more efficient to rely on the healing spell you begin with rather than investing in this attribute. On the other hand, armor holds more promise, especially if you're crafting a warrior tank character. Armor can provide added protection, a key aspect for tanking enemies and minimizing damage taken. Sum it up. While health regeneration and armor have their merits, it might not be the most impactful choices for most playstyles. However, while warriors looking to excel as tanks, armor can certainly prove adventures. Let's move on to the focus and dodge chance attributes. To be upfront, these are generally considered less valuable and there's little reason to allocate points into them. However, I'll explain what they entail. Focus would be more relevant for take-oriented builds as it could potentially reduce the duration of crowd control effects. In the future, as the game evolves and improves, this attribute might find more use for tank characters. On the other hand, dodge chance does exactly what it suggests. It increases your chances of dodging incoming attacks. This attribute would typically be suitable for damage dealing characters, such as rogues, especially given its placement within the agility category. Category. As of now, both focus and dodge chance don't carry substantial significance due to the current state of the game. However, it's important to keep in mind that the mechanics and balance can change over time. Finally, we come to the last two attributes, magic power and cooldown reduction. These attributes hold substantial weight for magic users and their implications are worth exploring. Magic power directly affects the potency of your magical abilities. If you're playing as a major or priest, channeling your points into magic power becomes a primary concern, as it directly correlates to the damage you can inflict. On the other hand, cooldown reduction influences how quickly your skills become available after use. While it might not be a necessity for all classes, it could hold value, particularly in specific scenarios. For instance, if you are a priest operating with a group of friends, reducing cooldown times might enable you to provide healing support more frequently. As our journey through the talent book draws close, I hope this comprehensive breakdown of attributes assists you in making informed decisions about enhancing your character's abilities. Remember that the balance of these attributes can evolve with updates, so it's wise to stay attentive to any changes that might impact your gameplay. Anyways, you all, thank you all for watching. I hope you learned something from this video, and stay safe, and peace.